What is up guys? My name is Kevin Dalasarna and I'm a content creator based in Cebu, Philippines. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the Asus VivoBook Pro 15 OLED. I'm personally very excited to review this laptop because some of you guys have requested me to review a great value laptop with a powerful CPU and GPU. Now this laptop is specifically curated for content creators so make sure to watch till the end of this video if you're on the market for creator laptops like this. So let's start it off with one of the most important components of any laptop, which is the graphics card and processor. I've been working on this laptop for a few weeks now on all of my content creation projects, and I'm very impressed by its overall performance. I recently edited an entire commercial shot on 4K 60fps, and it handled it so well on Adobe Premiere Pro with no dropped frames and a smooth video playback. As a content creator, it is very important for you to have a fast and reliable laptop so you wouldn't experience any lag, or choppy video playbacks, which can be very frustrating during editing sessions. Luckily, the Asus VivoBook Pro 15 has the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card and the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX processor that keeps my editing workflow smooth as possible. The NVIDIA Studio Badge products contains NVIDIA's powerful RTX GPUs and are purpose-built and tested specifically for demanding creators. Now you can add visually stunning effects to your video timelines, without sacrificing rendering performance, as well as export higher resolution videos up to five times faster when using popular H.264 or H.265 video codecs. I mainly export all of my video contents on H.264, so let's try to compare the rendering performance of this laptop with my M1 MacBook Air. Now, I get that this is not a fair comparison considering the difference in specs, so please don't roast me in the comments as this will just be a fun experiment to test out the real-world rendering performance of this laptop. To test this out, I'm gonna be rendering my latest DIY product commercial that was shot in 4K 60fps and has a lot of effects and graphic elements and I'm quite surprised by the results. My M1 MacBook Air rendered the entire commercial at 3 minutes and 28 seconds, which is pretty decent, but the Asus VivoBook Pro 15 rendered the entire commercial in just 2 minutes and 16 seconds, which is more than 2 times faster than the M1 MacBook Air. Every NVIDIA GPU is backed by exclusive and free studio drivers that bring out the best in your creative apps like Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, and Premiere Pro. NVIDIA also has studio apps like the NVIDIA Broadcast app that transforms your space into a home studio by upgrading the quality of your webcams, microphones, and speakers into premium devices using the power of AI. If you're considering this laptop, it is important for you to know that you can also get 3 months of Adobe Creative Cloud with purchase of any ASUS NVIDIA Studio laptop. For the other specs, this laptop maxes out at 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and has 512 gig SSD. The design of the ASUS VivoBook Pro 15 has a sleek and detailed metallic lid design, which I am a fan of. The unit that I have right now is the cool silver color, but they also have a quiet blue color. I love the minimal aesthetic as it gives a professional look and it also has that modern slim bezel design. Not only does this laptop has a clean design, but it also has the best displays on the market, which I'm very excited about. The Asus VivoBook Pro 15 has a gorgeous OLED Nano Edge display and has a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, the best color accuracy, and is Pantone validated with true-to-life colors. The rich OLED panel depicts those deep and true blacks on your screen, which is very beneficial especially if you want to consume media, watch movies, and even color grading my videos on this display has been amazing. The display also has a 0.2 millisecond response rate, which is great for you gamers out there, 600 nits of peak brightness, and has 70% less harmful blue light, which can reduce eye strains, especially if you're like me, and you love to edit your content late at night in a dark room. The only gripe with this display though is it only has 1080p resolution and a 60Hz refresh rate. However, I personally don't mind this as I'm looking more into the color accuracy of the display which is more important for me to have accurate colors for my photos and videos. I've been typing on this keyboard for the past few weeks now and it has a nice tactile click feedback with white backlit keys that is very helpful at night. I'm not a fan of the full keyboard layout though because of the number keys but it can be useful for some of you who casually uses the number pad. You can use one touch to log in with the power button, which is very convenient. And we also have a webcam shield for privacy. 
For the touchpad, we now have a mega-sized touchpad that for me is very responsive. I have used this touchpad for editing and I love the bigger size as it is easier for me to use and navigate when editing. I'm not a fan of the speakers though even if it's co-engineered with Harman Kardon. This is mainly because of its bottom firing speaker placement. The audio quality is not that great especially at higher volumes so I'd suggest using earphones especially during editing since as we all know audio is as important as the video itself. For general use though and media consumption, the speaker is decent enough for those use cases. For the ports, you have two USB Gen 2 ports in the left, and on the right, you have a charging port, one USB Gen 3, an HDMI port, one USB Type-C port, a micro SD card port, and an audio jack. Personally, I'm not a fan of the micro SD card port since I mainly use a standard SD card for my cameras. It would have been nice to have a UHS-2 fast SD card port for us creators, but at least you have an option to insert a micro SD card if you use one. The USB Type-C port can't be used for charging which is unfortunate, but we do have a dedicated charging port and the charging brick for me looks sleek and I love its minimal design. The cooling system of the Asus VivoBook Pro 15 is very important as it ensures that the system stays cool and provides maximum performance during heavy editing sessions. This laptop has a highly efficient dual fan cooling system that incorporates two heat pipes which avoids overheating. However, I have noticed that the fan starts to ramp up and has a little bit of noise when editing on Premiere Pro and opening a bunch of apps like Photoshop and Lightroom in the background. But still, it is better to have a cooler laptop than a quiet laptop that heats up in just the first few minutes of editing. For the battery performance, the VivoBook Pro 15 has a good battery performance for lightweight tasks and you could get up to more or less 6 hours of battery life if you're just doing casual media consumption, doing emails, and writing documents. It can take up much of the battery though when doing heavy editing sessions and opening multiple apps at once, but this is normal. I roughly get 3-4 to four hours of battery life when editing on this laptop and that is good enough for me. Speaking of editing, it is important to know that if you're a creator that works with heavy 4K 60fps 10-bit footages with full color grading and graphic elements on top of it, the video playback on Adobe Premiere Pro starts to stutter a little bit with a few dropped frames at full resolution. But if you bump it down to half or better yet, a quarter of the playback resolution, the video playback starts to run smooth again. This is quite normal for any laptop as 4K 10-bit footages are really heavy files to handle especially with full color grade on top of it. However, if you're only editing with 4K 8-bit footages like the footages that I get from my old Sony A6500 camera, then your editing workflow will be smooth as butter just like my recent commercial project that I edited on this laptop. Now, investing on a powerful laptop is a need for any creative out there because it can handle less program crashes which can reduce our stress during editing, it speeds up our workflow, and it gets the job done faster especially having the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card and the Ryzen 9 processor on the ASUS VivoBook Pro 15. Not to mention having that gorgeous OLED display on top of that makes this a great value laptop for the performance. The ASUS VivoBook Pro 15 currently retails for 62,995 pesos on the official ASUS store on Lazada and the link will be in the description. Overall, I would highly recommend this laptop, especially for creators who need a great value and powerful laptop for your content creation needs. And that's it. If you made it till the end of this video, comment down below, create more. I hope you guys find this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.